What is ultraviolet? Brought to you by my book of chemistry. The word ultraviolet, or UV, has a Latin origin. The Latin prefix ultra means beyond. Therefore, ultraviolet means beyond the violet end. To explore the word ultraviolet scientifically, we have to look at the electromagnetic spectrum, which describes the entire range of light that exists. Light is an electromagnetic wave. From the longest to the shortest wavelength, they are classified as radio wave, microwave, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-ray, and gamma ray. Note that we can only see visible light out of all electromagnetic waves. At the violet end of the visible spectrum, the wavelengths are too short to be seen by the naked eye. They range from 100 to 400 nanometers and are classified as ultraviolet or UV. UV light can be further divided into UVA, UVB, and UVC. UVA has the longest wavelength between 320 and 400 nanometers. UVA can cause immediate tanning and skin aging, which includes wrinkles. It is not readily absorbed by the ozone layer and about 95% reaches the earth. They can penetrate windows and clouds. UVB has the medium wavelength between 280 and 320 nanometers. UVB is responsible for producing sunburn and most skin cancers such as melanoma. A large amount of UVB is absorbed by the ozone layer and only 5% reaches our planet's surface. They don't penetrate windows and are more likely to be filtered by the clouds. UVC has the shortest wavelength between 100 and 280 nanometers. It is very energetic and dangerous to all forms of life, even with short exposures. Luckily for us though, UVC is filtered out by the ozone layer and never really reaches the earth, but it can be created artificially to kill bacteria. Did you know that scorpion can glow under UV light turning a teal green? Wow! Under UV light, between 320 and 400 nanometers, molecules in their exoskeleton absorb UV and re-emit it as visible light. UV light is widely used in everyday life. Some people enjoy getting a fabulous tan using an indoor tanning bed. Mostly, UVA is used for tanning. Studies showed that people who started indoor tanning before the age of 35 had a 75% greater risk of developing melanoma, a type of skin cancer. Still, many people continue to tan, thinking that it makes them look healthy. UVC light can be used to clean and kill bacteria on your toothbrush. Simply put the used wet toothbrush into the toothbrush holder, close the lid, and then the UV light goes to work. You can't wash your phone, but you can sanitize it using UV light. Meet the little Mo, the robot which uses pulses of UVC light for sanitization. Little Mo contains a xenon light bulb that kills 99.9% .9 of dangerous viruses and bacteria in less than 5 minutes. Besides hospitals, sports teams can also use Little Mo to disinfect team uniforms and equipment. A high school football team that had suffered from an outbreak of staff had their equipment disinfected by UVC. UV light can also be used to detect counterfeits. In any bill, there is a security strip that glows when exposed to UV light. Put the bill under UV light and make sure the bill glows the correct color. That's right, each bill glows a specific color. UV light can be used in forensic investigation just like CSI TV shows. Evidence that would be impossible to see with the naked human eye in a crime scene can be revealed when illuminated by UV. UV light illuminates substances such as blood, sweat, fingerprints, and bodily fluids. 
even dried stains become fluorescent under UV light. In summary, ultraviolet or UV is light beyond the violet end of the visible spectrum, with the wavelength ranging between 100 and 400 nanometers. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.